Hello, people. I am Javi Kuei, joined by Alize. Nay. 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 Hey. It's almost like you forgot. I know. No, nay. Hey, hey. <laughs> Turned into a horse. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to look at Suno Agarwale uh, Rahe. Hi. From Secure Khan. Thank you, Secure Khan, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate that. All right. Let's do this. Suno. <laughs> Suno means listen. फुल ऐसे घर वर साफ कर रही है बिल्कुल मैंने 12 बजे घर वाले आ रहे तुम जाओ अब ठीक है तो 12 बजे घर वाले आने थे 11 बजे उसको मैंने निकाल दिया घर वाले आने वाले थे 2 बजे करना पड़ता है जैसे ही गई मैं बाल्टी लेके बाहर गया धूल भरी मैंने <laughs> मैं आया वापस मैंने पूरे कमरे में छिड़क दी व्हाई सब एकदम कर दिया नॉर्मल <laughs> मम्मी पापा अब हम मम्मी पापा ना अलग ही नजर से देखते हैं तुमको पापा लोग तुमको तीन साल आगे देखते हैं कि ये कर रहा है मजे और मम्मी तुम्हें दस साल पीछे देख रही होती कि नहाये नहीं है ना तू आज भी मम्मी आई मम्मी का दिमाग खराब हो गया घर गंदा देखे कहते क्या कचरा है क्या ईट क्यों पड़ी है घर में तो बाहर आ गई गलती से शिट ईट आ गई ईट का तो क्या करता मैं कुछ नहीं और पापा अपना अलग रीड कर रहे घर तो एक बात बता यहां का कमरा बड़ा सजा बात ही डिडंट सेल ही डिडंट सेल द वे ओह ओह दैट्स द होल थिंग ओके नाउ इट्स क्लिकिंग गॉट इट ओके दैट्स व्हाई यू स्प्रिंकल डस्ट एवरीवेयर अच्छा 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 मैं कहती हूँ सुन यार किचन बड़ा जमा हुआ है तेरा हाँ बाइक करके जाती स्ट्रेट फेस हंसी आ रही पर है बाइक करके जाती पापा भी मजे के अच्छा 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 थोड़ी देर बाद में पकड़ा गया बाथरूम में से निकले कहते एक बा बता तू कब से सीट ऊपर करके मुंहने लगा दे मैं वो सही रहता है पापा मेरे पास आए कहने लगे कि सुनो हम भी बाहर रहे हैं भाई और बहू में फर्क समझ में आता है और मैं फुल वो वाला मैं सख्त प्ले कर रहा हूँ मैं फुल वो वाला कर रहा हूँ क्या कह रहे हो हाँ मतलब नहीं नहीं समझा नहीं मैं मतलब हाँ हाँ क्या पता नहीं क्या बात कर रहा हूँ पापा ने ऐसा कोनी पे साथ पकड़ा मेरा वो नहीं तो डोमिनेंस एकदम बिल्कुल फुल ऐसे खींच के मुझे अंदर क्या सुनो तुम्हारे जैसी � उस दिन तो मैंने कुछ नहीं बोला, लेकिन थोड़ी देर बाद ना पापा के लिए हल्के के रिस्पेक्ट आने लग गए। मैं कुछ भी कहूँ यार, बापू अपना हैस्टर्ड लौंडा। I think that's the thing that a lot of people forget is that their parents are probably way smarter than they give them credit of for. Of course. And it's, it's, it's always like that. You always think that you've got it a step ahead. I remember trying to correct my mom while she was driving because I just went through my driver's ed thing. Mm -hmm. And she's like, Jabby. <laughs> like, and she usually would say my my name with just a very simple like inflection like that. That had all the weight of shut the flip up yep. or I'm going to put you in your place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's a very Asian mom kind of thing. Yeah. It's very simple. It's just jabby. It's interesting you know, how you always have that and you know that with your parents. They're yeah. like, hmm. And then as years go, they just look at you and they don't even say anything anymore. When you're 15, they're like, jabby. And then when you're older, you're like, 
You're lying to me still. <laughs> yeah. The reason why I think we developed this notion in our head that we probably have one over on our parents or that we know more than our parents, I think this is gonna change for tomorrow's generation or even ours. We grow up with this new emerging technology and we have a better understanding of how to use it than our parents do and we're often trying to show our parents like, no, this is what a video game is, you know, whatever the thing is, you know? Because of that, we have this idea that we are smarter. When it comes to personal things, they usually are way, way, way ahead of us in a number of ways that we couldn't possibly fathom yet, at least regarding them. Mm -hmm. Like his dad was, he pulled him aside and is like, look, I did this. Stop trying to get one over on me. It's just not yeah. gonna happen, brah. <laughs> Stop, what about you? Yeah, no, I didn't even say anything. I just tried not to get in trouble. I was always trying to pull one over, so I would not say anything at all, so they had no idea that there are things that are trying to be pulled over. Ella stays quiet. <laughs> When is and she gonna when, come? When is she that's gonna when come? Dad's like, so what are you up yeah. to right now? Because yeah. he knows like I'm up to something. <laughs> she's 19 and she's still such a quiet girl. When is she gonna come into her own? <laughs> oh, I came into my own. Yeah. Not realizing that she's a chatterbox. She's mm -hmm. just trying not to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. That's smart. Don't wanna get caught. Yeah. He sprinkled dirt everywhere in an effort to like kind of throw them off their scent. Initially, I didn't clock that. I didn't understand why he was making the place dirty again. I thought he was just doing that because he feels comfortable with it being messy. I'm a very like neat orderly guy, as Alizé knows. Yes. I have a very particular way of doing things. And I've had girlfriends who are like, just and I'm like, what are you doing? I'll organize and they're like, now I don't know where anything is. I'm like, what are you talking about? And they make it a mess again so that they know where things are. And I thought that's what he was doing in the beginning, was like mm -hmm. he was just making it messy so that he understood wherever, like it was just his comfort. It had nothing to do with that, it's just that's how his parents perceived him. I didn't really fully grasp the idea of what he, when he was saying that your dad sees you three years ahead, your mom sees you 10 years ahead. The comment that his parents were making was about something present. Yeah. Not something like, so when are you gonna find a lady and settle down, son? It wasn't anything like that. I was just a little bit confused because it was conflicting ideas in that moment, for me. It might, might have been like bad translation or something like that. I was just thinking like, he's dirty because he's a kid, so she's always living in like, he's a little kid. And then the dad's like, oh, gotcha. oh you're gonna get married one day and you're trying to throw the scent off that this house is so clean because of a maid, but it's because you're in a relationship. So he's calling him out. Yeah. So his dad sees him. In a way, his mom is not seeing him. Some men pee sitting down. Not saying I do that. I thought that was great. That was a huge issue in uh, the beginning part of my relationship where he wouldn't put the toilet seat down and I come from a home of women. And I know many men that come home um, from a home of men, women, they all put the toilet seat down. It's kind of weird because uh, he wouldn't and he had a mom and a sister and I'm like, they never complained. Like I've fallen in toilets before. <laughs> and I even told my boyfriend, I said, if you go home with me and meet my two nieces, and you don't put the toilet seat down and one of the, like the eight year old falls in the toilet. I was like, they'll never forgive you. But it's funny how he used that as, you know you have a girlfriend. I love that, that yeah. was like classic. Well, I've always done that. You watch a lot of like comedy or something like that. You hear certain complaints come up. It's interesting because it's confusing. It's confusing because of certain ideas that kind of like permeate my impressionable young brain. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just not do that. Or I won't behave that particular way. And one of the things that I would hear complain about a lot growing up in comedy and TV and whatever, or listening to grownups is how men always leave the toilet seat up. I'm like, won't do that. And so ever since the age of 15, I always put the toilet seat down just in case. That's perfect. Most guys do not run with it. That's a great thing that you uh, caught on to that quickly. So then you don't have to fight with your girlfriend in the future. Yeah, but the other thing that was confusing alongside that is that guys just want sex. That's a complaint I've heard a lot. The thing about it is sometimes that's what girls want too. And that's it. That's a thing that happens. It it's can... a different world now. Yeah. Before, it's not that we didn't want it, it's that we didn't talk about it because there wasn't a lot of permission that was given. And nowadays with the whole Me Too and like just people being more proactive in articulating their sexual needs. Yep. Now it's like Netflix and chill isn't just men. It's like women are like, okay, you can come over and do yep. all, you know what I mean? So it's, it's a different time it's, now. It's very confusing. The very short version is you need to romance a girl, you know, talk Great. to them. If you're just coming straight in for that, then you know, then no. It's a, just a different world. That immediately speaks to the thing I was talking about earlier, which is reasons why we think we are ahead of our parents sometimes is because our children, we don't have kids, but you know, when we do, our children are coming into a different set of parameters than yeah. we did. It's a completely different set of guidelines where my thinking is it's supposed to be this particular kind of way, but just because you were raised with a different set of parameters of reality than I was, doesn't mean that I don't have wisdom over you of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> there was advice my dad gave me once. I was in a situation where I had just started dating a girl. She told me something like, 
I want to be real with you, because this is after a couple of weeks. I'm going back home to Chicago, and there is a guy I'm seeing out there. I was like, okay. And she's like, yeah, so I'll have an answer for you, basically, you know, once I'm done with Chicago, of like, what path I'm taking. I'm like, okay, that's fine, I guess. I mean, it's not like we were serious or anything like that. Okay. We had gone on a couple Damn, dates. I didn't even know I can get away with things like that. So, this is, these are why these conversations are important, ladies. And, and so, <laughs> what happened was... While she was out of town, I mentioned to you in the last video we shot, my best friend Sintel introduced me to this girl, this Vietnamese girl, and we ended up liking each other. And so we went on some dates, and so I was confused about what to do. And I called my dad up. It was one of the few instances where I called my dad for advice. And he goes, don't say shit to anybody. <laughs> That's the best advice. I was going to say, that is the best advice he could give you, okay? And then... That was it. That was the advice. Don't tell any of them anything. You sort your shit out. Don't say anything to anybody. And yeah. from that day forward, I'm like, okay, it makes sense. Like, you just keep it to yourself. Figure it out for yourself and then and then say what you I just say. think in that, your situation, she tried to control it and kind of tell you that you're going to be idle while she figures it out. So only in this situation, I would agree that, yeah, you don't need to say anything because while... You're sitting idle. You're having your life, so yeah. that's okay. I don't think don't say shit and sort your shit out every time works. But in this situation, that was great. It's a long podcast conversation waiting to happen on the future podcast <laughs> yes, with Alize and Jebby. Yes. <laughs> well, that's a really good one, though. That particular topic of the truth shall set you free. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite things to talk about because I think men and women just so strongly, inherently tend to disagree about it. And I love that. Yeah, it's great. And just to wrap that story up. I didn't say anything to the girl who went to Chicago. I started hanging out with the Vietnamese chick. When the girl from Chicago came back, she was like, yeah, so, you know, it didn't work out with him. So it's just you and me. And I'm like, actually, it's not. I love it. <laughs> actually, we're done. <laughs> I'm good on this. But she and I are still friends today. Of course, yeah. but it's just interesting because people don't realize that girls can be guys too. The result will always be the same. You leave someone idle and make them not as important and you go and live your life, you're gonna get that same kind of respect back to you. What I love is, regardless if it's a guy or a girl making those decisions, the reaction is always the same. Good for you though, I'm glad that you went on a date. And the universe was like, here you go. He's a beautiful Vietnamese princess. Until you are in a committed situation, don't ever say no to anything else. That's my advice for I the agree. day. I agree. Don't Life's too short. Ever say no. Because I did, and I messed up a couple of things because I thought something was maybe going to go somewhere, but it never actually, there was no commitment, anything, nothing. And it ended up going nowhere. Turned out I was catfished. <laughs> Hold the story for another day. <laughs> Hold the story. Like you, guys, just... you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Uh, make sure to check out Alizé on the social media. Thank you to Zakir Khan for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Jabby Kawai. This is Alizé. Peace out. Bye.